Welcome to Tasmania, the beautiful island state at the bottom of Australia. We invite you to come and experience our special way of life as you prepare for the biggest event on the global sporting stage, the FIFA Women's World Cup for 2023. With a population of 540,000 people, Tasmania, or Tassie as the locals call it, might be Australia's smallest state, but it enjoys a huge passion for football. buzz around the football community. We've got the most participants we've had in about six years. Um, we've got just under 30% female participation, which is actually the highest proportion of anywhere in Australia. So we're really proud of that. This excitement includes spending millions of dollars to revamp and improve some of Tasmania's best football pitches to ensure they are chosen as team base camps for the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023. Oh, it would be so amazing. So like, so not to get games in Tasmania is really disappointing because we are such a beautiful state. Um, but if a country were to base here and we'd have that atmosphere and that energy, it would just be everything for, for female football in Tasmania, for sure. Um, not, o not only Australia-wide. Our government is investing 10 million to upgrade football facilities right across this state. This work, which has already commenced, will ensure these facilities will provide everything that a visiting team will need. Thanks to this investment by the state government, we can offer four base camp sites throughout Tasmania. The facilities at them are second to none and offer significant advantages over other sites around mainland Australia. We've got facilities in the northwest, the north and the south of the state, each of which has their own airport, uh, which has charter capacity. Uh, really good hotels in those sites, um, venues in close proximity to the hotels and also close to the airport and really easy to get around for our visiting teams and good privacy as well which we know is important for these teams. If you're in Europe and you look at Australia it's one big desert with Tasmania as the temperate part down the bottom. It's safe, it's got great facilities, we've got airports that can cope with the number of charter flights that are likely to be coming in and out. We've got a welcoming community. We've got a supportive state government. There's a traffic jam for maybe five minutes a day in Hobart, and then you're out of it. It's gonna be so easy for these teams to, to feel at home here, which of course is really what they wanna be doing uh, while they're competing in the, in the world's biggest tournament for female footballers. Set to become the home of football in the south of Tasmania, Lightwood Park is currently undergoing a huge renovation. The main pitch, it actually is about to be, and next, within the next 12 months will be fully upgraded. It will be lengthened to the minimum 105 metres and six, by 68 as per FIFA requirements. We'll have turf that will be probably equivalent, if not the best turf in the state, and lighting to meet the 500 lux requirement. New club rooms, which will have eight change rooms, which can actually be reduced to four large change rooms and each of those will take 44 people. So the country that might choose to base themselves here will have full access to that. This complex is found just 10 minutes from the centre of Tasmania's capital city Hobart, which offers a huge range of high class accommodation, an airport close by and beaches and wilderness all on the city's doorstep. Hobart has all the trappings of any modern city in the world. Kingborough is a fabulous municipality and we're only 15 minutes from the capital city. Let us roll out the welcome mat to you in 2023. We've got amazing facilities here. We've got beautiful grounds um, and our kids will be so excited to see you playing your sport at your level on the grounds that they play and train on every week. The base camp, we will ensure will be very secure. Uh, in fact, the pitch will be literally just metres away from the change room, so they'll literally at one level walk out from the change rooms onto the pitch. There will be very tight 
security without it being imposing. But what we do want to ensure that we keep is the relaxed environment. And I know from a sporting perspective, when you're building up to an event, they want to know that it's secure, but they also want to know that it's a very relaxed and comfortable environment. And that's what we can deliver.